hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Tierra, and i'm back with another video so today i wanted to show you guys how i washed my u-part unit and this unit is from big shop hair it is the blown straight 14 inch hair and let me just tell you the key to blending this the key for me and my hair to blending this unit with your hair is curls as you can tell my hair is like really frizzy and bushy but the curls make it look more if, like, as if it was my real hair. So yeah, if you guys want to see how I wash this unit, condition, all that good stuff, then please go ahead and stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Let me know how you guys wash your units or if you wear units to so let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. Okay, guys, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so let's get into this video. So here is my U-Part wig. It is the 14-inch blown straight U-Part wig from Big Chop Hair. And I got this back in, I believe, November, maybe early December, and it's still going strong. I don't wear it as often as I want to because, you know, the whole quarantine's going on. Um, but yeah, it's been lasting me really good. It's been doing good. It's really nice and soft. So this will be my second time washing it because I don't wear it that often. But I washed it when I first got it. So yeah. So this is how it looks. These are some curls I had in before. And I'm just going to use this Shea Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner. And this is sulfate free and color safe. And if I run out of shampoo, I'm, um, if I run out of this shampoo, I'm going to go into with the Chi and for shampoo. And then once I shampoo and condition it, I'm going to go in with the day deep conditioning treatment. I'm going to let it sit on the hair for 20 minutes. You know, you want to take care of this hair. This hair doesn't grow back, so you want to make sure you're maintaining it. So let's get started. So you're also gonna need a brush and I like to use this tangle teaser this thing is so good I use it in my real hair as well like I love it so much that I decided to invest in the bigger version like the paddle um version so I'll show you guys that maybe in my next hair video but this is what it looks like really really nice it definitely detangles my hair so let's get started I'm gonna go in with some warm water and um, you want to make sure that you clean out your sink before and after washing your hair. You don't want anything that you put in your sink, like your food or whatever, in your hair. And you don't want anything that's coming out of your hair to be on your dishes and your food. So, um, just clean it out before and after. I've already cleaned it out and I actually put this, um, drainer in there just in case I get some hair chunks or whatever come out that they're not going down the drain. I'm catching it. So, yeah, just be mindful. I'm gonna start with warm water. And I'm just gonna wet the hair. Now, I just wanna saturate it. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with some shampoo and I'm just gonna put it all over. Ooh, the shampoo is really watery and you want to work this in like you don't want to scrub it you just want to kind of like do that you know because you if you get this tangled up it's going to be harder to detangle because it's not your real hair you know what i'm saying and if as this falls out you know it's not going to grow back <laughs> if it you know if it sheds so if it um you know comes out it's not going to grow back so you want to make sure you're really gentle with it but also get it clean so let me put some on the other side running out of shampoo guys You just want to make sure you're keeping the hair straight 
but still kind of rubbing it, cleaning it, just so it'll be less to untangle. Get that cap clean too. Okay, so I have it rinsed out. I'm going to wash it um, one more time. So I'm going to wash it twice and then condition it and then deep condition it. Let's rinse this out again. Now that you have it rinsed out, make sure that there is no bubbles or suds or anything coming out. Make sure the rinse is clean. Um, when that is, you want to go in with some conditioner. So I'm going to go in with the Free Fusion Coconut Water Weightless Cream Rinse. Um, this is a conditioner from Shea Moisture and I got it from TJ Maxx, I think. So I'm just going to put this throughout the hair and this is going to help to give it some moisture and to help me to, um, detangle it. Let me tangle that I got with washing. Actually, I might need to go with a, another conditioner because I am probably out of this. All right, so now I'm gonna go on with the the tangle teaser. I'm just gonna go from the ends up, just like you would with your own hair. For the most part, it should be detangled because of the way we washed it. We made sure that we didn't, you know, do too much while we were washing. So for the most part, this should go right through. You don't wanna brush it too much because you don't want to um, pull out the hair. Like I said, it's a wig and it doesn't grow back. So <laughs> you want to make sure that you're, you're taking care of it. Okay. Now that that's detangled, let's rinse this out and then we're going to put in the deep conditioner. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the Day Deep Conditioning Treatment. I got this from Sephora. Um, it's pretty good. I used it once in my real hair, and this is the only deep conditioner I have right now, so I'm just going to use it for the U part wig. And it has a pump, so that's great. It's really thick, and it smells... Mm, it smells like citrusy. It smells really good. So let's just put this in the hair. And if you want to, you can section this, your, the hair and put it in like that. But I'm just going to just put it in all over, you know, to each his own. All right, so now I'm going to take the tangle teaser again and just make sure that that is combed through and it gets on all the strands.
we're gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and be right back okay guys we're back and i let it sit for like i think 30 minutes probably longer than that um but if you want to you can wrap this up in a plastic bag or a shower cap to get the deep conditioning a little better but i just decided to leave it out it's still wet so now i'm gonna wash this out Okay, now you want to wring out all the water, the excess water. I got my towel and I'm just gonna put this in inside of it to get like the excess water out as well. I'm just gonna let that sit in there, just squeeze it out a little. Just squeeze it together to get the you wanna get that water out so it takes less time to dry. All right. So we squeeze out the majority of it. So now that you got the excess water out, you want to put whatever oils in it or heat protectant you want to put in it. And you could let this air dry or you can blow dry it. I would suggest you air dry it, you know, less heat as possible. Um, I do blow dry it sometime. Well, I did blow dry it when I first did it because I wanted it to dry a little bit faster, but I just put it on low heat and just, I didn't comb it through. I just was taking a blow dryer and just putting it on there on low heat. So since I'm gonna do that, um, I'm gonna use a, this Dove Smooth and Shine Heat Protectant Spray. And I'm just gonna spray this all over the hair. You definitely wanna take care of your, your um, U part wig just as if you are taking care of your own hair probably even more because this hair doesn't grow back like I said uh -oh. and then I'm gonna take this oil this is Eden Body Works papaya castor scalp massaging serum and this actually came with the hair so I'm gonna put some of this on the hair this is just the oil And this is just a step that I do. You don't have to do this, but I take like a pants hanger and I'll hang the hair on this so that it can dry a little bit easier. Or you could take it and put it on here, hang it up, and it'll be easier to blow dry as well. So you just wanna let it hang. And then you can hang this part on the door or the wall or whatever. And then just let it hang up and dry or you can hang it up and blow dry it okay so i have it hanging in the shower on the shower rod and you know as you can see it's kind of dripping you probably can see the bottom but i'm going to add some of this chi silk infusion silk restructing complex into the hair as well before I blow dry it. It's much, much easier to add product to the hair while it's hanging. So now I'm going to just lightly blow dry it on a low setting. Okay guys, so I blow dried it a little bit. It's still a bit damp, 
I'm just gonna let it dry overnight and yeah this is my video on how you wash your you part wig all right guys so I hope you guys enjoyed that video I just wanted to show you guys how I take care of my unit and make it last you know because we don't want to be spending all these coins and all these wigs we got to take care of them we're going to make sure that they last make sure they're not shedding and make sure they're conditioned and moisturized okay all right guys have a good one see you in the next one